Hey guys, it's Diana. Uh, for today's look, I decided to do a New Year's Eve inspired makeup look as it is the end of the year. Um, as you can see, we're going to be applying some glitter onto the eyes, which I always love to do. And mainly, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how I apply my foundation in order to achieve a very natural and glowy looking skin. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. Okay guys, for this look, I'm going to start out with my eyes. Now I'm going to prime my eyes with this Smashbox Photo Finish Eye Primer. So just go ahead and grab a tiny bit and spread it on your eyelid. Now go ahead and set it with any setting powder and now the palette I will be using today is a ColourPop palette it's called good as gold my friend gave it to me for my birthday and I've been dying to use it so the first color I'm going to be grabbing is state of mind which is a very light brown and i'm going to go ahead and spread it on my eyelid next with a smaller blending brush i'm going to go go ahead and grab any bronzer that you may have and i'm going to focus this on the crease so this color, as you can see, is just slightly darker and it's just going to give you a sort of dimension on your eye. As you can see, you have a light shadow over that eye, which is just what I want. If you guys want to go ahead and deepen that brown, by all means, go ahead. I don't like very um, deep eyeshadow um, on my eyes just because I do have smaller eyes and it's just, I don't like it on me. <laughs> so next I'm going to go in with the Aw, Aw Team, Aw Team, Aw Team. It's called Aw Team for the millionth time. And this is a very chunky glitter. Go ahead and pat it onto your eyelid. And I'm going to focus it on the center can see oh, look how pretty that looks I've decided to do a wing liner again I'm using the McQueen very affordable eyeliner on yes style in black just go ahead and Get very close to your eyelash line. And I don't go all the way to the end. I actually stop a little bit before and then I pull it outward and up. You can see. Now go ahead and curl your eyelashes. Now I'm just using a drugstore mascara that is waterproof in the color black. I personally don't like wearing false eyelashes, but if you guys do, go ahead and wear them lashes. You can see eyelashes just bring your eyes to life I swear it's like the best thing ever <laughs> okay now I'm not gonna finish my eyes right now I'm gonna go ahead and do my base makeup and then I will go back and finish my eyes now for the first product I'm going to be using the flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury in the color 4 I've been using this non-stop it's absolutely gorgeous and I always apply it on the high points of my face and blend it in. 
And today I will be using some foundation and the one I've decided to use is this Giorgio Armani Silk Foundation in the color 7.5. Now I'll go ahead and do about half a squirt. Let's see. And I like to smear it on the back of my hand like this. And then just pick it up with my brush. And I like to apply it in kind of small strokes. And I am applying a very light layer on my skin since I personally don't think I need that much foundation. Um, this is basically just to really even out the skin tone. And if you'd like, just go over it with the Beauty Blender. That always helps in making sure it's really blended into your skin. And it picks up any excess product you may have. As you can see, there's a lot of it that I didn't use. The sadness. I hate. That's why I, ugh, I always try to put the smallest amount on the back of my hand. But then I'm like... No, what if I need more, but. Okay, now I'm going to be using this RMS Uncover Up in the shade 33. And I'm actually going to be picking it up with a brush. Just a small, tiny blending brush like this. And pat it right under my eye. Now again, I'm going to grab my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to go in very lightly. As always, I'm going to be using this Hourglass Ambient Light Bean Powder in the color Dim Light. This is my go-to powder for any occasion. Such a good powder. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it under the eyes, on the nose, tiny bit right here, and under the chin. Around the mouth, apparently. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with the bronzer. I'm going to be using this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in the shade Light. And I'm just going to bronze up my cheeks. Tiny bit on my forehead, whatever's left on the brush. And today for blush, I'm going to be using this Nudie's deep maple color. I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my cheeks. I'm going to blend it in with this, with the foundation brush that I used earlier. I like to go a little bit over the nose as well. Just to bring it all together. gonna grab a small brush and I'm gonna go back in with that state of mind color creates a very light shadow under the eyes and now I'm gonna go in with the color 24k which is just a lighter champagne color and I'm gonna apply this in this inner your duct part. And then next, I'm going to use the color um, Nugget About It, which is also a very shimmery color, but it's dark brown. And I'm just going to put it on the very far end of my eye just to connect it up to the wing. Now I'm just going to apply mascara on my bottom lashes. Now just grabbing this Anastasia brow pencil. I'm not going to use it for my eyebrows and I'm actually going to use it for my mole. Just to make it a tad bit more visible. I'm going to use that same 
mascara that I used under my eyes. I'm going to brush up my eyebrow. I'm going to go back with that eyebrow pencil and I'm going to take the spoolie and just make sure I don't have any black clumps in my eyebrows. And that's about as good as it gets for my eyebrows as always. As always. Now I'm going to go ahead and line my lip with my favorite lip pencil of all time. This is in the color Toffee by Flower Beauty. Now the only reason I'm doing this is just because I am going in with a lighter color of lipstick. I'm actually going to go in with two. These are Marc Jacobs lipsticks. They're absolutely amazing quality. I love these. So first I'm going to go with Je Tam, Je Tam Me. I love you. I love you. <laughs> and I'm going to put in the tiniest bit. And next I'm going to go in with this J'adore. I adore you. And go all over. With that. As you can see, it gives me a very pretty, like terracotta, kind of orange color. This literally feels like butter. I love it. Okay, guys. And that's it for this tutorial. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead like and subscribe i really really appreciate it um and lastly i hope you guys all have a great new year's please stay safe and i'll see you guys again soon bye